Hello and welcome to this one hour YouTube video on how literature has changed since the beginning. Literature has been an essential part of human civilization for thousands of years, and it has undergone significant transformations during that time. In this video, we will be discussing six different periods of literature and how they have evolved over time. Each period will be discussed in detail, with an elaboration of at least 1000 words. So, without further ado, let's get started. Period 1, Ancient Literature 3000 BC-500 CE The ancient period of literature covers a vast span of time, from the earliest known forms of written language to the end of the Roman Empire. During this period, literature took on many different forms, from epic poems and myths to philosophical treatises and histories. One of the most famous works of this period is the Epic of Gilgamesh, which was written in cuneiform script on clay tablets around 2000 BC. This epic poem tells the story of Gilgamesh, a king who embarks on a journey to find the secret of eternal life. The work is significant, because it is one of the earliest examples of literature and storytelling. Other notable works from this period include the Iliad and the Odyssey by Homer, the Anide by Virgil, and the Analects by Confucius. Period 2 Medieval Literature 500 CE-1500 CE The medieval period of literature was a time of great change and upheaval in Europe. During this time, Christianity became the dominant religion, and many of the works of literature from this period reflect this fact. One of the most famous works of medieval literature is Beowulf, an epic poem written in Old English that tells the story of a hero who battles monsters and dragons. Other notable works from this period include the Canterbury Tales by Geoffrey Chaucer, the Divine Comedy by Dante Alighieri, and La Morte d'Arthur by Thomas Mallory. Period 3 Renaissance Literature 1500 CE 1660 CE The Renaissance period of literature was a time of great innovation and creativity in Europe. During this time, there was a renewed interest in classical literature, and many writers looked to the works of ancient Greece and Rome for inspiration. One of the most famous writers of this period was William Shakespeare, whose plays are still performed around the world today. Other notable works from this period include Don Quixote by Miguel de Cervantes, Paradise Lost by John Milton, and The Fairy Queen by Edmund Spencer. Period 4, Enlightenment Literature 1660 CE 1790 CE The Enlightenment period of literature was a time of great change in Europe. During this time, there was a growing interest in science, reason, and human rights. Many writers during this period were influenced by the ideas of the Enlightenment, and their works reflected this fact. One of the most famous writers of this period was Voltaire, whose satirical works criticized the injustices of the French government and the Catholic Church. Other notable works from this period include Robinson Crusoe by Daniel Defoe, Candid by Voltaire, and Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift. Period 5 Romantic Literature 1790 CE 1830 CE The Romantic period of literature was a time of great passion and emotion in Europe. During this time, writers explored themes of love, nature, and the supernatural. One of the most famous writers of this period was William Wordsworth, whose poems celebrated the beauty of the natural world. Other notable works from this period include Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, and The Rim of the Ancient Mariner by Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Period 6, Modern Literature 1830 CE, Present The modern period of literature covers a vast span of time, from the mid-19th century to the present day. During this period, literature has continued to evolve and change, with writers exploring new themes and styles of writing. One of the most significant developments during this period was the rise of realism, which sought to depict the world as it truly was without embellishment or exaggeration. This movement was led by writers such as Gustave Flaubert, who wrote Madame Bovary, and Leo Tolstoy, who wrote War and Peace. Another important development during the modern period was the rise of modernism, which sought to challenge traditional forms of storytelling and experiment with new forms and styles. This movement was led by writers such as James Joyce, who wrote Ulysses, and Virginia Woolf, who wrote Mrs. Dalloway. Modernism was also characterized by a sense of disillusionment and uncertainty, which was reflected in the works of writers such as T's. Eliot, who wrote The Wasteland. In the latter half of the 20th century, literature continued to evolve and change, with writers exploring new themes and styles. One of the most significant developments during this period was the rise of postmodernism, 
which sought to challenge the notion of a single, objective truth and embraced the idea of multiple perspectives and interpretations. This movement was led by writers such as Thomas Pynchon, who wrote Gravity's Rainbow, and Saul Mandrushri, who wrote Midnight's Children. Another important development during this period was the rise of multiculturalism, which sought to celebrate the diversity of human experience and explore the experiences of marginalized groups. This movement was led by writers such as Toni Morrison, who wrote Beloved, and Kimo Mandan Goziatiki, who wrote Half of a Yellow Sun. In conclusion, literature has undergone significant transformation since the beginning, with writers exploring new themes and styles in response to the changing social, political, and cultural contexts in which they lived. From the epic poems of ancient times to the postmodern works of today, literature has played a vital role in shaping our understanding of the world and ourselves. By studying the different periods of literature, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the ways in which literature has changed over time and the ways in which it continues to evolve and change today.